guys. Oh man. I can watch this over and over and over. Epic machine unfolding. <laughs> Farming Simulator 2013. Duck M77. Game time. And it is a nice Saturday. After a night with no sleep. <laughs> no sleep at all actually. Um, suddenly it was 7 a.m. in the morning. And then, yeah, household chores. And the parents of my girlfriend came for a visit. What have you been doing all night, Darky boy? You've been farming? Kind of. <laughs> new snapshots out in Minecraft, epic new features, hoppers and stuff, and we had to make an automated item sorting system um, all night long. And we released it, and yeah, really cool. You know, it's like a breakthrough moment. It was just epic. But. Now I enjoy coming back to my beloved farming simulator as it is so relaxed and yeah, enjoyable to play. Sometimes a bit repetitive, but hey, after a hard night of thinking and getting your brain fried, your brain fried not the worst thing in history <laughs> or not the worst thing you could do. So guys, we have a little plan for today. I've been reading up on the comments what you've been saying and let's have a quick look how the field is doing. Yeah, we are in the final growth stage. Let's say we speed up the time a bit. Um, most of you guys or the top voted comment was we should get more sheep. All right, working towards more sheep. We have 25,000 bucks stored up. Um, I think the goal with the sheep should be the crop is changing. I think we are ready to harvest here. I think the goals with the sheep should be that we gradually build that up, but we should also keep in mind the expansion of our empire. Let's have a quick look to make sure. Oh, it hasn't. That is not even the final growth stage. I was already almost cutting down the potatoes uh, too early. That would have been horrible. So let's keep the time sped up. We need some bit. That is a bit of a disadvantage with the with the potatoes. It takes quite some while to grow them, but yeah, on the other hand, you get um, very impressive results from the crops. As you see, we have over 300,000 liters of potatoes stored up. What I wanted to say is, we also have to consider, you know, getting more fields and expanding our empire. One plan was. As down here, this is the mill area. Um, it's pretty close to the campsite here and the inn, excuse me. And also right here, I think this is the biogas plant. At least you can ferment things there. So it would definitely make sense to, yeah, have our eyes here on field number seven. It is a gigantic field, but think about it. If we have a full machinery of, yeah, or a full set of, of machines running down there, it would be pretty epic. We can uh, get to the campsite here and have a quick look. Let's go to the map, zoom out a bit, and have a look at field seven. <laughs> There's people down there at the campsite. Hey, people, enjoying your stay, keeping the grass short for you all day long. Don't you worry. So yeah, look at that. That is a very nice spot. You know, we could that would be something that would generate constant income because we would not hoard it. We would basically try to sell um yeah, what we harvest all of the time directly here to the inn. It's just a, a short trip. And I think it would, would make sense. As was field eight, we're talking about field seven here. If you look at that, that is gigantic. And if I just imagine the huge quantities of wheat we could harvest from this bad boy. Holy cow. <laughs> that would be something that is worth saving up some money. Let's have a look. Yeah, talking about six hectare. Did it, that is $282,000, which is not <laughs> like a minor amount. It is some money, definitely. Yeah, and yeah, right over there, pretty close. I am fairly certain we have the biogas plant here. 
which is another um, interesting way of making money. I think you can ferment um, chaff and things you load up here, so it also would be pretty cool to have some kind of a pickup, our pickup forge wagon, for example, right here. Um, let me slow down time just to make sure we don't miss our field. And then basically um, have a double way of make generating income. The inn and the plant here. But uh, they don't let us in. Right here in these areas you kind of ferment your things. I checked a little uh, guide about it so I kind of know what we would have to do. You, you roll over it with your tractor and kind of compact it and it has to be covered then when it's compacted and then you can load it up and I think you can unload right here looks like it and feed it into the bi biogas plant which is situated right there and powering our village the energy for this area it's also something we definitely need to try out but for now I think you can have a look at the sheep situation we are owning Let's skip ahead. At the moment, 350 sheep. We're sitting at another 81% um, pellet production already, which is pretty decent. So we are getting some wool already with our sheep. Right now we have 25, 26 grand. So why not jump into the shop and stock up a bit on sheep? Let's see. We could get another 50 should be able to afford that so we stock up to 400 already um, I think as a goal as a short-term goal we could aim for 1000 I think that should work out keep in mind though you know the bigger we get here with the fields the more fields we get we will be pretty occupied keeping it running all the time because yeah um, if you produce a lot of wool, that's nice, but if you yeah, can't keep up with unloading it all the time, um, we're in trouble. But I think we did a good approach by s yeah, slowly but surely building up our empire here. And yeah, we of course need more machines, more and more machines, um, more passive energy to fund our running costs, because that is also an issue. Last time we bought some solar panels. So yeah, lots of things to do always grateful for your amazing feedback because you constantly yeah give me new ideas and new directions to head with our farm here and I enjoy it a lot okay so I'll be waiting till the potatoes are ready and then we'll come back um, with more money hopefully and yeah we will have to unload the wool which is over here one sec right there this is where the wool pellets come out and we already have stored one pellet here on our tipper. We want to carry it away. Um, one thing I quickly want to mention, you guys said you can also use Alt-Tab alt, alt -tab to cycle through machines. Yes, you can, but keep in mind this is a Steam game and Alt-Tab um, for me brings up Steam. So I have to use Tab or change the button configuration for it in Steam, but I'm not sure if I really want to do it. It's alright can kind of skip through and we also can use the map view to yeah access certain vehicles so works all right so guys let me do my farmers work here I'll be back in a bit sweet it is done just sped up the time a little bit and now we should be able to grab our whoop <laughs> so funny with the fork now we should be able to grab our next load. Let's bring up the sh our forklift a bit. Well, it's a bit of a waste of time. Basically, right now, um, cows can produce, but uh, cows, I say, sheep can produce. But the whole wool producing thing, ah, we did better than last time, caught it perfectly, is fairly slow anyway. So the time you take here to unload doesn't really ruin you. Let's see how it looks from the cockpit view. It should be alright, nothing behind us. I don't bump into something. Bring it up further. Bring it over. Let's see. 
yeah, it's really hard to see. You barely see anything. Let's see. Let's get out of the cockpit view and try to align us correctly here. All right. Looks fairly decent. Look from the side. Okay. And now slowly down. Oh, I don't want to slide it out. Let's see if it's stable. All right. Let's have a look at what we did here. Oh, well, we're a bit off. Can I <laughs> can't I push it? <laughs> we might have to use the tractor a bit, see, to push it in. Let's try if we can do that right away. Turn on the light. Get our shovel up a bit so we kind of get the edge and try to carefully bump it a bit. We can align it. Now oh, look at it. It's it really sticks to it. You see that? I'm basically just hitting the edge of the pallet here. Let's get a, a bit higher. Yeah, it's it's kind of m stuck to the tipper now. That's that's pretty odd. Maybe some kind of a way to prevent that the whole thing gets too unstable and things fall off. But it seems it's kind of glued to it, and I can't move it now. I could probably pick it up and move it then, by, but by just pushing it and inching it over a bit, that didn't really work out. I see. Let's look at the feeding situation. We still are looking good, but I could actually go collect some more grass. It should be fairly simple around here. Grass is growing and I still have the opinion that we probably can run our sheep farm for quite a while with the grass that is just available here next to the fields and stuff we don't even have to go all out with a dedicated field for wool yet um, or for wool production yet okay, let's see attach the mower bought that um, two episodes ago and the forge wagon you see there this is basically to pick up um, yeah, grass and hay and stuff Oh, it's still we got some 4,000 liters in there. Now we can go for a little mowing trip while we're on it. Yeah, that is, um, we have that for quite a while now. It was a pretty expensive investment in the beginning and I was already contemplating if that was a waste of money. But the matter of fact is now it is super useful and handy. Let's turn on both lights. I ever so often see this comment when people ask how you do it with the with both lights turned on. Functionality is pressing um, F twice, but it only works if you have um, your maximum graphic settings enabled. Only on max graphic settings. Okay, let's turn on the mower. Um, G. Okay, now we have the mower selected. Lower mower and start it. All right, so I'll be cutting down some grass while we wait for the potato fields to grow and yeah, maybe I'll catch one or two mowing missions. And yeah, here we go. Baking up the grass, making our sheep happy. See you in a bit, guys. All right, we are raking in potatoes already again. And yeah, I got the worker on it there with the cultivator as well. Let's see if that works out. Um, trying to figure out the timing. Um, we don't want the two machines to interfere with each other. I mean, worst case scenario would be just have to stop the other tractor there who is cultivating at the moment. But yeah, as there is an additional step involved in planting potatoes, I'm definitely looking into... Uh, improvements here we need to accept that let's see let's quickly grab some more of the potatoes and load them here oh he's coming back collision incoming oh well it's getting packed up here 
Yeah, definitely have to slow down the worker a bit. It would just not be um, really efficient money-wise um, if I would just let him wait all the time because he'd be sitting in his tractor idling. I think he can go for another row. Let's just see. I quickly take care of the mowing mission here. And then we will see how that works out. And yeah, want to make some more money. Um, I think after this mowing mission we can buy another 50 more sheep. I kind of want to have around 10,000 on the account as some kind of an iron reserve, you know, we so we don't go bankrupt. I mean, we will just go into the negative. I also asked about that in one of the last episodes if um, people knew about how that works, if we actually can go into debt and it would work. Um, I assume though there's a certain limit and yeah, probably should try to not be in debt. I think it will ruin you in the long run. And yeah, also would kind of take away part of the challenge of trying to make that money <laughs> and not going to the debt. Alright, so I'll be back in a bit trying to get more sheep and hopefully we can get um, two or more 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 two or more pallets loaded zwei oder drei paletten by the way a pallet in German ist eine palette um, pretty similar sehr ähnlich that means pretty similar <laughs> so yeah I want to keep up this small little German lessons and you guys um, always give me nice feedback about it and say you like it when I use some German words here and there and yeah always see you guys requesting some German let's plays I'm really contemplating the move but there is a little issue with it kind of that holds me back from it you know I've always tried to do this English stuff because I wanted to address a wide audience I just like it that I have you know people from all around the world coming by stopping by at my channel commenting you know I see comments from like Greetings from Brazil, you know, every, South America, Europe, uh, Russia, uh, you know, like everywhere. And that is just what I really like. And if I would, you know, do just German videos, it kind of would take away that part. And yeah, here we go. Little dilemma. <laughs> Little collision here. Should unhire the worker get him out of the way so if you want to run the cultivator here right away you got to give it some time otherwise we will run into each other okay maybe wait for about half of the field to be done then it should be fine so yeah as I said about the German videos I'm not really sure if I want to do it I understand people would love to see it or like to see it always contemplating thinking how I could do it I might have to start a separate channel for that but I don't know if I can handle the workload you know um, trying to keep halfway decent quality videos coming out and you know you don't want to overdo it you don't want to stretch yourself too much I've got quite some um, regular series going like the normal Minecraft then Minecraft side project like the item sorting then the Minecraft feed the beast Minecraft um, single uh, multiplayer the normal server and then Far Cry farming simulator and that's all in English I don't know if I can you know if I can just crank out a German show would be kind of fun though ah, hard to tell I will try to figure out something you know to to do that but for now we will keep it with the small Deutsch lessons here and there <laughs> I think that should be fine Sweet. We worked our way up to 500 sheep by now. I'm always keeping an eye on what they're doing and at the moment we already reached 15% wool production which is already pretty decent speed wise. I have to say. Looks like something we can work with. Um, I've been like whenever I did a mowing mission or two I reinvested the money and right now we already have one hundred thousand dollars invested in our sheep project there which is quite a lot of money and when we reached our first yeah goal we set ourselves with one thousand sheeps we have invested two hundred um, two hundred thousand 
um, dollars in jeeps. So yeah, we need to sell quite some pallets of wool to yeah make a full profit of our sheep farm, so to speak. Um, like each pallet gives us five thousand, so yeah, quite a bit. But after yeah a hundred pallets, um, we're there making profit. <laughs> well, not bad. All right, let's unhire this worker here. So we don't interfere with the harvesting, and yeah, I think I will achieve being um, yeah finished with this field. Um, the time, or yeah, when I got all potatoes, let's say it like that. In this moment, I will also be ready with the cultivating and can already start sowing again. And I think that is pretty efficient to work like that. If we had another machine free right now, but yeah, I'm a bit too lazy to use our other tractor over there for um, seeding already we could kind of cycle through but in the long run for a field like that you could even work with um, three machines on it or four you know if you count our harvesting device there so yeah still a lot of gear we need um, but as we want to expand next time I think that should be the goal um, we have to buy gear for that so think about it a little bit guys what do we want to do down at the inn with this field first we need to buy the field that's over 200,000 you saw it but then what kind of fleet should we set up there what kind of harvesting cycle um, keep in mind we already own a few machines we could probably um, transfer some of our devices over there um, maybe we go barley all out um, on that field um, that was a basic idea I had barley all out because barley pays fairly well down at the inn and then we go for one of the really wide condor seeding machines that can automatically um, seed and cultivate in one processing step and thus we should be able to quickly uh, seed and harvest the field thing is harvesting we need a harvesting device and uh, if you remember how expensive our uh, combine was we're looking into a few hundred thousand there so if you want to make the leap of faith and expand now towards the inn we definitely need a crap load of cash but I'm hauling I'm hauling gold right now <laughs> potato gold keep in mind guys we are storing up potatoes like crazy at the moment let's see we have already over 400,000 and we're raking in another almost 40,000 liters right there but if you think about it if we get a high demand streak let me quickly go to the other tab right now potatoes sell for around 400 imagine if you get a high demand streak when the thing pays a thousand or 900 you know it's half a million almost we will make with potatoes only and that will yeah, provide us with the cash we need for the next step a quick expansion towards the inn and yeah I think that is the basic plan I had maybe we can do it even more cost efficient or more smart um, but I think it at least should work as a basic plan but as I said please 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 uh, let's see if we get it leave feedback about it so we can come up with a good solution yeah worked out okay let's unload here and um, I'd say the goal for today's episode is to reach 750 sheep there's another um, 250 to go which means another fifty thousand dollars to invest um, I might even you know sell a bit of our crop maybe a bit of potato or something to speed it up but well if everything works out and we're done with the field and I caught some more mowing missions uh, maybe it just works out without touching our precious potato gold and sell it for a low price. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be back. Whoa! <laughs> so, yeah, I'm riding over to the inn with some potatoes here. 27,000 liters. I stored the rest of the harvest in our silos. Let's have a look. Um, we now have 476,000 
pretty cool. Let's let's check if we can unload from the side here. Yep. Pretty cool feature of this tipper. And yeah, just wanted to sell that off to make a little bit more money to invest in our sheep project. If it's a little bit can be sold, that's all right. The moment we have, whoop, I'm in the middle of the field. We don't want to do that. Try to avoid it if possible. 650 sheep. <laughs> All right, let's invest the money we made and buy some more. Should get close to 700, or let's make it up to 700. Yep, 50 to go. That's another 10,000. I can easily earn that with some mowing missions at the moment. We have the other um, tractor already um, cultivating the field again. So we have high running costs at the moment. If you look at it, see how the money like is draining in an insane, insane amount of, or in an insane speed. That is because we're sowing potatoes and that is expensive, as you see. But that's why I want to keep a little bit of a buffer, you know, of money. So can react and keep on sowing our crop because that is what is farming all about in the first run uh, okay in the long run it's about sheep farming obviously <laughs> okay I'll go back home and I think we should reach our goal very soon yeah guys we are in a little bit of a dilemma here look at that we're sitting at 700 sheep still I didn't get any mowing missions and look at how quickly our money is dropping and so I made the decision I will grab one full trailer here of potatoes and sell it off not a big deal as we have so many potatoes and we already have another field coming in there so should be no problem and hopefully next time we can then yeah break 500,000 liters of potatoes but yeah, as I said, I really don't want to go into depth and yeah, also want to complete the goal of 750 sheep today. And as it seems we're unlucky with the correct missions, well, let me just use some of our crop and store the major part of it. It's only 10% of what we got or so. Store the major part of it away for a very good deal, but still 429 at the inn. I'm on my way. Okay, here we are. That should be good enough. Oh yeah, over 20,000. Alright. Let's get out of here. Go to the shop. Sheep sitting at 700 now. And let's make it to 750. Cool. Next time we definitely reach 1,000. And we should be pretty well equipped with sheep for now. Got another 12,000 in stock. Let's jump to the sheep farm. Have a quick look at the situation. What's, what are the sheepies doing? Oh, we, can, we could actually refeed them. I was mowing a bit before. Let's have a quick look. Um, what is the food situation? See, constantly pellet fork missions and they don't really yeah, pay off. It's too much uh, hassle with the, the, s the um, pellet fork truck being stored here now. Um, yeah, 7,000. Yeah, come on, let's, let's feed them a bit. See, let's feed them to the max. Roll back. Okay, let's turn that tipper. Okay, unload. Ah, okay, we emptied it completely, 16,000 liters there, that should, that should last for a while. Next time we definitely have to go mowing a little bit, so we have some more sheep for our, uh, more grass for our trusted sheep here. Good boy, eat the good fresh grass, you too, all of you thousand. <laughs> There's not a thousand uh, sheep in here. There's some kind of a limit. Same thing as with the chicken. Uh, how are you doing? Making that wool? 40% almost. Well done. We want to get a full tipper. Whoop, let's jump some sheep. <laughs> Alright guys. 
that's it for today. Whoop! And over there. Man, I should have been a track and field star, not a farmer. I'm out! <gasps> Horseshoe! That means luck! Pa-blang! Bye-bye!